you guys have watched my most recent video I posted about the 9.75 inch heroin egg board, then you guys would know that last week I turned 31 years old. That still sounds so horrible to say out loud that I'm 31 years old now. But just like when I turned 30, I'm having a little bit of a freak out wondering how well I'm going to keep progressing in skateboarding and how much longer I'm going to be able to skateboard for. Obviously, I've got a long life ahead of me and I might be being a little bit dramatic, but I've definitely noticed over the last three to five years that it takes a lot longer to warm up. I can't jump down as much stuff as I used to and my recovery from skating takes so much longer as well so I've started trying to take care of my body a little bit more so I can skate longer which I'm gonna have to focus more on as I get deeper into my 30s but I've actually realized I haven't learned a new trick for a long time now I can't even remember the last new trick I learned now that I think of it I did learn a new trick actually at Carn Hill on the flat bar I'm going to skate now a backside board fired front side 270 out I don't know where that came from that was a random one but yeah I think I learned that last month so I lied just then I have learned a new trick recently but besides that it's probably been years since I've learned a new trick I honestly can't remember any tricks that come to mind that have been new that I've been excited to learn so I would like to challenge myself to continue to progress continue to push myself in skateboarding and to continue to learn new tricks. I'm 31 years old now, obviously I'm not getting any younger, but I don't want that to stop my progression in skateboarding. So I've had a few dream tricks I've been thinking about over the last few years and it involves a big spin into a front board, but there's four variations I've always wanted to learn out of that trick. So big spin front board, shove it out, big spin front board, big spin out, big spin front board 270 out and one that I've been seeing a lot more often big spin front board and then it's like a body burial front shove it kind of shove it out I don't actually know what to call it so I'm starting this learning new tricks in my 30 series with those tricks I really doubt I'm gonna land all of those today in one session but I'm gonna start at level one which is the big spin front board shove it out so I'm heading to Carnes Hill Skate Park which has a perfect flat bar that's square so it's easier to sit on top of the rail and get ready to big spin or 270 out or whatever trick I decide to do today so I'm on the way now I'm gonna do my long extensive warm-up that I usually have to do especially because it's not even 8 o'clock in the morning yet my joints are stiff my body's cold so I'll take you guys through a bit of the warm-up that I usually do before I start skating and then start warming up on the flat bar and getting into the big spin front board tricks so I've got a bit of a history of a bad back over the last few years I've had like back spasms and stuff and had to go to physios to get it looked at and see what stretches and how to release it and everything because it's been so tight so every morning I do the same back mobility kind of stretches just to get myself ready for the day. I'm not gonna run through that, but when I begin my skate like now, it's eight o'clock in the morning too, so I'm pretty stiff at the moment. I always start from the bottom of my body and work the way up to the top. Try and stretch out my calves a bit. Don't fully hold my stretches, but I definitely try and just loosen up my calves and my joints just before I start skating. So I'll do a bit of this, get my ankles going, get my knees going as well. My knees are like probably the second worst thing that I've got on my body. I used to roll my ankles a lot when I was a kid. Touch wood, I don't want to jinx it. Haven't done it for a long time. And then stretching my quads out a little bit, just from sitting in the car for like 30 minutes to get here. Basically, just pretty basic stuff. Just go through from the bottom all the way up to the top. And then my back, it's usually my right side that's the most sore. So I just try and stretch that out a bit more. Skateboarding is pretty intense for what it does to your body. Your back and your knees, you're always landing and twisting in weird positions, so I always like to do this to loosen up. And then some leg swings to help open up my hip flexors and my hamstrings. People back in the day, they were just like, well me especially, I'd get to the skate park and just start shredding, no warm ups. I don't know how I used to do it. I could get to the skate park and jump down like a 10 stair without even warming up. It's crazy to think about that now. I'm probably not skating in the prime of the day until like an hour after warming up, stretching, get everything ready. Plus mentally as well. I do this one to loosen up my hips a bit more as well. Oh, I'm already so stiff. I haven't skated since that video on my birthday where I skated at Miranda Park. So my body's been getting more and more stiff. And then just my chest too. If you guys have watched my videos, you'll see I'm flailing my arms a lot when I'm trying to balance or whenever I try a trick, my arms are just going up crazy in the air. And then a little bit of more back twisting and I can hear that cracking as I do this. 
So that's basically what I do for all my joints and muscles. I'll do a little bit more extensive, but I'm not gonna bore you guys with the whole routine. And then I just start cruising around, pumping around transition. If you're at a straight spot, that's harder, but I just try and get the blood flowing in all my muscles and loosen up my joints a bit more. So let's cruise around, have a little warm up, and then we'll get into the flat bar, big spin front boards. All right, I don't know why I'm choosing to drop in on the biggest ramp here first, but surely you can't stack a drop in for your first trick get these legs warmed up. Legs don't feel too bad today actually. Oh, to like Ollie. Not ready for Ollie's yet. Another thing, you guys always ask, like, in my videos, the skate parks are always so empty. I got here at 8 a.m. today, so no one is here. All the kids are getting ready to go to school, or I think it's school holiday soon, actually. Or people are going to work. But I try and get to skate parks anywhere from, like, 8 to 10 o'clock. And you've got <laughs> the whole place to yourself. Plus, it is summer, and it gets really hot here in Australia. So skating anywhere after, like, 11 or 12, it just gets too intense. So hot. Today I'm lucky it's pretty cloudy, so it should be a cooler day. Now, oh, I'm already out of breath. Talking and skating. I usually talk a lot, like when I'm with my homies, or even when I'm skating by myself. I talk to myself so much as I'm trying tricks. So I thought it would be a good idea to film my process of the big spin front boards, because I'm already going to be talking anyway, so I'll try and talk you guys through it. But let's see if I can ollie this gap first, T. Oh. Oh, that was soggy, what the hell? I didn't need that much speed either. Got to get my legs and my brain to function as one. And then I should start be able to, should be able to start trying some proper tricks, but let's try that ollie again. I don't know what happened there. Not as fast this time. The gap's not that big. Much better. Yeah, I usually spend a bit of time just cruising, carving the transition or whatever. Definitely helps get your joints more loose instead of just like ollieing, doing explosive type of movements. People say they like skating flat ground as a warm up, which is crazy to me. I feel like I need to get warmed up to skate flat ground to be able to pop hard, flick my board. It's insane that people warm up like that to me. I should be able to start doing some ollies into some grinds and stuff now. So I'll start warming up on this side of the skate park. Let me uh, try to do a little 50 on a board slide. Oh, way too slow. Lucky I got tech rails. Oh my. Oh, jeez. Gonna take a while to get going today. Um, just try and do that again, I guess. More speed. Skateboarding always looks better when you're going faster. I need to remind myself. I always go so slow, usually. Still slow. Yeah, we'll make it. Wonder how the front boards will go today. Hopefully good. Oh, damn, I suck at manuals, hey. Those manuals I'm all right with, but actual like tail manuals, no deal. Maybe on the flat one. Oh, see, that sucks. But I bet I'll get a nose manual first try. See, so much better at nose manuals. That's why I can nose grind well, but I can't five over very well. I have to do at least one manual satisfy myself yeah oh, damn it i celebrated too early how am i that bad at manuals i'm doing it right now this sucks yes <laughs> i shouldn't celebrate that took like four tries before i get into more warm-ups this is a controversial topic so what do you call this trick I used to call this a pop shove it front board 
and then come out fakey. I mean, come out straight. So you're shoving it into a front board and coming out straight. But whenever I started going pop shove it front board to fakey, that's when I would call it a big spin front board because you're completing the big spin. But when you do a kickflip front board, that is a kickflip front board. And then you come out straight. If you go to fakey, you're doing a kickflip front board to fakey. You're not doing a backside flip front board. So neither one is really a big spin because you're just shoving into it. But why do people call it a big spin front board, but they don't call it a backside flip front board? Answer me that. I've just become more kind of adapted to calling it a big spin front board or a big spin front board to fakie. So either way, I call it a big spin front board just because it's easier to explain. So with my warm ups on the flat bar, I usually just try and do like all the board sides and lip sides and stuff just to get a bit of comfort, I guess, on the rail. So I'll go board slide and then I'll come back, back it up with a front board. Oh wow, that was soggy, but I'll take that, I guess. Then I'll go backboard to fakie and then frontboard to fakie and just do stuff like that. And by the time I've done a fair few of the like board side fakie, frontboard fakie, switch board, switch frontboard, I'm usually pretty warmed up to try lip slides, then get into the harder stuff like the big spin front boards and stuff. So let's go board fakie and then frontboard fakie. Hop. Get those legs warm up. Oh man, front boards are not going too solid today, but we're getting them. So next, what's next? Oh, switch front board, switch back board. Jesus, I'm not getting into that very well. Oh, yeah. I'll take it though, if I get this. Oh, I didn't pop at all, what? That was so scary. I'm taking it though. Now I'll do those to fakey, which isn't actually fakey because I'm landing regular, but I don't know what else to call that. We're trying board to normal. Oh man. These are feeling sloppy today. Pop the board this time. There we go. <laughs> we'll do nolly and fakey lip and then front lip and back lip after, but nolly ones first. They just seem to be a bit easier, especially this early in the morning. You don't have to worry about, see, talking in the middle of a trick. You don't have to worry about getting your back truck over from ollieing. It's easier to nolly and get your back truck over. Oh man, awkward. Never been good at nolly back lips. I don't want to jinx myself, but I'm pretty good at back lips. I usually say that and then the first few I try just suck. All right, third try. Nolly back lip and nolly front lip. Oh, sogging. Keep coming out of this stuff so soggy. It's getting hot. Even though the cloud is here, it's still pretty At like 8.15 in the morning. Fakey lips. This first one's usually pretty easy. Just gotta keep your shoulders straight to go back to fakie, but this one's the awkward one. You can't really see where you're going. Oh Jesus, I just guessed that. I could not see where I was going. Ah, fakie lips, right here. I don't like going this one to normal. Feels way better going back to fakie. Same as this one, I don't think I've ever done this to normal. Oh Jesus, I guessed that one again, but it worked out somehow. So next is back lip and front lip. Back lip, like I said, I'm usually pretty good, but I might eat my own words here and not land it. I can usually back lip every try. Well, I should prove it then. First try back lip. Capable. Oh, we'll take it. Base plate touched, but can't be greedy. This is the warm up. Front lips are harder. Oh man, what? I'm actually scared of front lips. I'll show you guys a clip of one Halloween I got smoked trying to front lip the handrail at Mac Fields. Hit my back truck, sacked the rail, and then like fell and splattered on the ground. And ever since, that was years ago too, ever since I've been so scared of front lips. So if I land this back lip, I have to go for the front lip. 
Damn, over twist. Front lip. Don't be scared. Oh, I was still scared, but that's it. We'll take it. Okay, I had to move my camera into the shade now that the sun's out. It usually overheats if I keep it in the sun too long, but I guess it's time to try the big spin front boards. I'm always so scared for my first few attempts of trying this. Like, so hard for me to commit to. I don't know why, because I can do them like pretty consistently and pretty comfortably when I do get into it, like when I start trying them, I mean, but oh, the first few attempts are just always so scary. 975 too, I've never big spin front boarded a 9.75 inch board, but it's an egg board, tapered kicks, it'll help me scoop up into it. The funny thing is I'm really bad at pop shove -its, and I'm really bad at big spins, but I can like shove it or big spin into a front board and most people don't know that I'm bad at them because I can do it onto a rail. So I'm just gonna try and run this first try. Skip, skip all of the being scared, rolling up to it. Yeah, I usually just big spin up the rail for ages before I commit. <sighs> Let's try and do this first try. I've done this trick first try before. I know exactly what to do as well. So hopefully I can skip the scaredy cat stage and just land it right here, first try. Don't be scared. Oh, jeez, I kind of committed to that. I did not big spin in correctly. Kind of dark slid. I did go for it. I haven't done a big spin front board on a 9.7 inch board though, 9.75 inch. I don't know if that's what, or oh, I just messed it up. I don't think I need to uh, look into it too much. I never really know if I want to come out straight or go to fakie. Usually the higher the rail, the higher I try and pop the shove it and then I forget to turn. So I end up coming out forward. But if it's a little rail, like I can big spin in and keep my shoulders turning and then go to fakie. I feel like, I don't know, going to fakie looks better because you kind of complete that big spin. But if you can like shove it or big spin in, hold it for a long time and then turn out straight, I feel like that shows more control. Because anyone can really just big spin in, hit the rail and then go back to fakie. Same as when you're learning a front board for the first time. Most people learn how to front board fakie before front board out normal because they just complete the back 180. Anyway. Oh! Damn it! That hurt. Or to the ankle bone. I'm actually having more trouble than I thought for this. Oh, that hurt. Ooh. Well, this is a worry. Learning new tricks, he reckons. <laughs> Can't even do a trick that I can do. Big spin. Damn, what's gonna happen if I can't even land this? There goes the variations out of it. Episode one won't be very exciting for you guys. It'll be pretty depressing for me too. <sighs> this is the usual process of doing this trick. You big spin out the rail for ages roll up to it and not do anything. Those ones that like, I don't usually not make it up. So the ones are kind of scaring me a bit. I can't even get like the first step of it. I know I can do this trick. I'm usually pretty good at it. There we go. Oh man, but if it took that long to get that, I don't know how to shove it out's gonna go. And for the shove it out, I need to be on top of it. I don't know if you could tell but when I got in, it was like a safety cautious one. Like I had my weight on this side, but for a shove it out, I need to be on top. So that's one big spin front board. I was thinking to try more of the big spin front boards to get comfortable with them, but I'm, I'm gonna be trying it a lot as I'm trying to shove it out. So I got one that was decent, happy with that. Hopefully now my brain can just tick over and be like, all right, that's right, we can do that trick. No need to be scared. But I'm gonna do a front board, shove it out, and then try and put them both together. What was that? <laughs> I can't believe I caught my hat too. That was the weirdest. Didn't get hurt, but awkward. And that's when I shove it out. It's supposed to be the easy part. Imagine I do the juiciest big spin front board. Oh, you're joking. I just chipped my board. 
I don't even know what that hit. That is devastating. Right on the tail, basically like where I'm putting my foot to scoop. Damn. I don't really chip boards ever. That sucks. This is my second time riding this board too. Damn. That's the way it goes sometimes. Should be all right. Ugh. It's not too bad. Uh, it's more underneath at least. Top should be sweet. I still can't believe that fall though. So weird. I didn't even try and catch my hat either. It kind of just fell into my hand. If I had to battle to do my first big swim front board, now I'm about to battle, that rock's dangerous, a front board shove it out. I can't imagine the battle of trying to put them both together. As if I'm struggling on a front board shove it out. <laughs> Poor Charles, damn. It's usually a first goer. Well, that was it, but I'm very worried about how this is gonna go. Shove in, shove out. I'm just gonna have to big spin in. Hope to land somewhere. I don't think I'm gonna be as consistent to be like, oh, my feet aren't right for the shove it, I'll just jump off. Every big spin in I, I do, I'm gonna to have to like go for the shove it out. No matter where my feet are, where my placement is. I've done a kickflip front board shove it out before. I think I've done it twice on this rail. All right, that's the angle for the big spin front board shove it out. Now the real battle begins. I just checked and it's just five past nine as well. So taken me an hour like I said to warm up and get to the point where I'm ready to try like the peak of my tricks where I'm ready to like try something hard so all that stretching and like mobility type stuff cruising around practicing warming up on the rail it fully does take me like at least an hour well nothing left to do besides try it I guess I just hope I got the big spin front boards consistently it would be amazing if I could get this first try Probably wouldn't be as exciting for you guys to watch the battle or the process if it was first try, but it was already a battle enough to get to this point. So if I can big spin in again, I guess. Mm, yep, here we go again. Back to square one. It's probably going to get annoying and boring watching me just roll up to this over and over and over, but I want to show the true, most honest process of me trying to learn a new trick. And this is like the majority of how it works too. I don't post like a process because, I don't know, people get bored of that. Oh, sun's coming out too, it's gonna make it harder. Do I come here to complain or did I come here to learn a new trick? If I don't attempt this, all of you guys watching right now, unsubscribe to me, I deserve it. I've already done one, it's pretty decent. I've proven to my silly brain that I can do it. All right, if I don't at least commit to getting on the rail, unsubscribe. Oh, all right, that was a bit of a stinker, but keeping subscribers at least. All right, at least I popped. All right, big spin front board right here. Oh, wow, I really struggled to hold that. Had no intention of shoving out on that one. I just wanted to get another one. <laughs> what is wrong with me? Legit just landed one, and then I'm freeze up on the next try. This is how it goes. I can't cut any of these attempts out because y'all need to see. Skateboarding is hard. It might look like I know what I'm doing when I post all these clips and edits together. Especially Instagram. People just post like their best bangers of the session. And everyone thinks, damn, this guy's good. But little do you know, it's just like video parts. You don't know the process that went behind doing the bangers that they do. How many hours, how many trips back? Anyhow. Oh, yo. All right. I need to threaten myself again. If I don't get into this one, unsubscribe. If I don't get in, 
no subscribers. What the? I got in at least. Oh, I need another coffee soon. Oh, I got one here, yes. See, now that's my motivation. Big spin front board, shove it out. Coffee time. Should be like 8.30 by now, but that's how much I've been rambling and not trying. All right, big spin front board, shove it out. Whoa, whoa, that surprised me a lot. How you going? One foot, I was in no position to land that. Like the board was way out in front of me, but oh, I landed that. This guy thinks I'm talking to myself. I am. That's actually so funny. You guys are watching this video now, but the day you're watching this isn't me today filming this. So I'm here literally talking to myself. But this guy's just watching me like walking around the skate park like a doofus talking to myself. Oh. Anyway, damn, I got in and I shoved out. That was like a super confidence builder. Just give me a flash of what's possible. Oh, what the hell? Man, how do I do like the best one and then the worst one? Oh, I was so ready. Like ready, ready to shove it out of that. I'm just hoping it's not one of those dirty, worm burning, crop dusting shove it out where it's stinking and it drops and lands before I do. Either way, it's a new trick. If or when I do land this, I'll be hyped either way. <laughs> oh, it's too far on the inside. But hey, we're getting there. So I don't want to jinx it, but I think I've, I've gone past that point now where I'm scared to try it. And this happens every single time I try big spin front boards. I freak out, fluffing around for ages, rolling up to it for 10 minutes, big spinning at the rail, it takes me so long to commit. But then once I've got them, like I'm consistent. So the fear factor, the fear factor, seems to be gone. I forgot to mention in the last video, I got new deck rails too. Totally forgot, but um, shout out to Marcus at American Wood Skate Boutique. He sent me these um, little drawings, deck, deck rails. I'll give you guys a close up later. But it's a moth rail, so it's like square cut on the inside, but rounded on the outside. So when you're doing like board side to lift up to hurricane type stuff, because the outside's rounded, it gets up into it easier. So that's why you would have seen me do the board side to hurricanes at Miranda last week on that granite kind of ledge, board side to hurricane. And I did front board up, board back down, and then to hurricane. But yeah, just rolled into it really nicely. Oh, what the hell was that? Wouldn't it be sick if I just big spinned in, shoved out, like right this try, like right here and right now. Damn it, that wasn't right. After all this, I might make an episode per trick, so this video's probably gone on so long already. Unless I keep practicing, I really don't know if I'm gonna be able to do the big spin out the 270 out, that body varial out. Maybe every session I'll just keep doing big spin front boards. Just so it's boom, 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 ready to go each time. And I don't get scared. Let me know what you guys think. Here we go, see? Stopping skating to talk again. Getting so distracted. Let me know what you guys think of these like raw, longer form type videos. I got the inspiration from, um, I seen Gifted Haters video on him trying to do, trying to learn Nolly hard flips. So he just drove to the skate park explaining what he was going to doing, set up his tripod and just went through the process of him trying to land that trick. And for some reason it was just like so intriguing to just sit there and watch. I don't think it was like very edited. I don't think he had any music or anything. It was just raw out. It was just him talking and explaining like the process of what he was going through. John Hill has been doing a similar thing, sets up his like flat bar and flat ledge in a car park and just explains and works and talks through the tricks that he's trying. And then local Joe did some of these videos as well trying to learn how to kickflip front 50. Yeah, just super raw, like just talking, explaining his process and how or how all of them approach the trick, what they're trying to do, what's going through their head and everything. And for some reason, it was just so like interesting and intriguing to just sit there and watch through that stuff. They're like 15 minutes, some are 30, some are 45, some of John Hill's ones are like one and a half hours, even though like he's vlogging throughout the day. But it was just super interesting to see the process of these guys trying to learn tricks. So yeah, I thought it'd be cool to make my own style of video like that. I thought it'd be cool, but you guys let me know what you guys think because you guys could be bored, you might not even be watching or you just be like, this guy won't shut up, show me the skateboarding already. 
But um, yeah, I thought it'd be cool to try something like that myself because I talk a lot, I break things down a lot. Even if I'm not filming, I talk to myself a lot too and like work through certain tricks. Let me know, let me know. I won't do all my videos like this, obviously, but like every now and then it'd be cool to do something like this. Me learning a new trick or I don't know, having a raw session with someone or a game of skate or something. I just think that kind of stuff's cool. And I don't want to get caught up just doing the same like skate park review and product review guy. Like, I don't know. I really had fun doing the DIY building stuff. I don't know, street skating with the homies, but I don't get to film a lot of street skating YouTube videos because we're like filming for, I don't know, I hope you guys have watched the Gobbledock Street video we made, but we've already started filming for the second one. And street skating's rough. Like we'll go to a spot and then like one of us will battle a trick for two to five hours. Then we'll go to the next person's spot and then they'll battle. Like it's not a fun kind of day to film because we're, we're trying to get clips for the street video. So I've explained this to a few of you guys that are like, oh, he doesn't skate street or why don't you do more street videos? But it's hard. I need to go out and straight, uh, skate street on a day where not filming street skating, like for the video, but I'll try. But yeah, long story short, let me know what you think of this video. But I'm gonna big spin front board shove out right here. This try, imagine. Damn, that felt good. It wasn't to shove it out though. Just wanted to remind myself I could still do it after just rambling, talking for so long. All right, I think it's time to just go serious attempts only. I want to be all day trying this new trick, even though I basically left today free because I didn't know how long this would take. Exactly what I just did with the shove it out. Land this trick, have that coffee, and then go and have some breakfast. Sounds bloody good to me. Oh, damn, I was fully gone for that. Sorry to yell in your face because the microphone's right here. I know the problem. I'm not getting on top of the rail properly. And that's why, like, if I'm over here, when I'm shoving out, like, the board's away from me instead of underneath me. I need to get the right figgy in, shove it in. For you guys that call it a shove it or a pop shove it front board, probably going to be so annoyed how many times I'm saying big spin front board. Whoa, one footer! <laughs> oh man. Oh, what am I doing? My body's confused. Like, am I going fakie? Am I going straight? It's one of those tricks that'll just like happen. I won't know what I've done different. I won't know when it's going to come. But like, it'll just come out of nowhere. I might just try it. Start trying and shove it out from wherever I am. Who cares, eh? It's like, wherever it lands. Let's give it a go. Whoa, I just wasted that. <sighs> Almost sound like Mario dying then. I stopped myself from landing that. If I didn't pull my foot away, oh, I'd be rolling away. I'd be rolling over to drink my coffee. Oh! <laughs> That was the weirdest sound I've ever made. That, I know that was sketchy. I don't know if that was wheel bite or if my heels touched. I'm not gonna watch it because I might be satisfied with how it looks. I'm gonna have a bit of coffee. I'm gonna try it again. I feel like I can do a cleaner, but we got it. I'm fully counting that, like I landed that. 31 years old, learn a new trick. So hyped on that. I really hope that was wheel bite and it wasn't heel drag, but we can do it better. Yes. Oh my God, been carried away. I'm fully, even if that's a heel drag, like I know I won't be super hyped, but I'm, I'm fully counting that. I'm happy, super jolty on the landing though, so I think my heel touched. No, my foot was weird. Okay, I didn't watch the one I landed. I was just moving the camera because the sun moved and the camera was in the sun. Worst case scenario today though, I did land level one, complete. No, I was too far, see? I don't know how to get, all it takes is me being here on the top. No, oh wow. Oh my God, that was so scary. I don't even know what I did different on the one I landed. Obviously I landed it, but like, I don't know how I got up any better. It just worked. Oh, so humid out here. All you guys watching from America, 
I think it's for your winter now. I see you guys wearing jumpers and stuff, beanies. Like, damn, that must be nice. So hot over here right now. You can only skate like early in the morning, like this, or once the sun set. But daylight saving, the sun doesn't set till like 8, 9 p.m. Gotta get this before my body shuts down. Whoa, I was just on the tip of that. Wow, I went too late on the rail anyway. That's for something. Oh, almost. Damn. See, you guys would see this side of me, like, I can skate right now, I'm trying hard tricks and stuff, but no one ever sees, unless you're skating with me, the process of how long it takes for me to warm up, get my joints, get my muscles ready, get like my back and my knees not hurting, and then that's warming my body up. Then I need to warm up on my skateboard doing board size, feebles, grinds, like skate warm up. At least an hour every time, just to get to the point where I'm ready to skate. Damn, too far over. See that, besides the base plate, like grinding, that's the big spin front boards that I think look good and have control. When you're able to sit on it and hold it and then turn out straight. Sometimes big spin front boards fake is just a bit of a cop out. You big spin, tap the end of the rail, and then just complete the big spin and go fakey. In my opinion, that is, of course. Just like everything in skateboarding, that's all subjective. What in the world? I feel like I'm losing the power in the, like, the pop up into it. A lot of them are just like saggy, scooping in. Barely getting up onto the rail. I don't know if it's like the, the board. I'm not blaming the board, but like, I haven't done big spin front board on a 9.75 before. And I've got solid trucks too. I'm not even running hollow trucks anymore. The slappy trucks. These trucks are sick too, actually. <sighs> kind of just threw it because I wasn't in the right position for a big spin out. Big spin out? Shove it out. Oh, I knew I was going too slow. All right, come on. Get it done. Oh, you mother freaker. Damn it. Gotta stop yelling. We're blowing you guys' ears off. Oh, I'm going to fakey. Oh, damn. Hopefully you guys think this is a worthy trick too. It's good to me, it's hard to me. I'm sure there's gonna be people watching like, what? Fix me front board, shove it out. That ain't that hard. Why are you taking so long? Why are you making it so, such a big deal about it? I'd be hyped to watch someone like go through this process for their first front board. Like everyone's on such different levels, it doesn't matter. Just because I can front board doesn't mean like, I'm gonna be like, oh, this guy's only doing a front board. It's always like in comparison to that person and their level of skating. And for me, this is a banger. What? That was wild. Front boarding like just below my trucks. Man, that could have went bad. See, that's another thing I don't like. The attempts are getting more dangerous now. The more like tired and fatigued my legs get, they're not operating the same way. I've been street skating a lot where I have to just stop trying the trick I'm doing because it's getting too dangerous. Because once you're battling for a while, especially when you're trying something like big, where like, I don't know, like a big handrail or big stairs or something, it's like, it's way too dangerous to keep trying. Every try has to count for something. Oh! I gotta stop yelling into the microphone. I was ready to shove it out, but I was turning the fakey. Whoa, I just got in the front table. <laughs> oh, damn. I'm so sorry if I'm yelling, if this is like really loud. Damn it. If you guys haven't already, Feel free to just skip along. You don't have to watch this whole process and every attempt. It's probably getting a bit too much by now. It's probably getting very old. Me complaining and just talking to myself. Feel free to skip ahead to the land, to hopefully the clean land. All right, enough. Enough for wasting your time. You've been watching me for however long so far, unless you've skipped through to the land, which I won't be mad about. I get it. No, 
That felt good. Whoops! Where am I going? I don't know how long I want to make this video. I don't know if you guys will want to watch like a 30 minute video of me just rambling on and trying the same trick for ages. It might feel longer because there's no like editing, no music, just raw attempts and stuff. I'm sure this video will be 30 minutes by now, but yeah. That was so weird. Look where my feet are. I'm legit like, if I come back into frame, like nolly shove it position. <laughs> oh. The only big thing from board is that by now. I know I've done like two or three that I've liked. Probably five, six, I don't know. Landed some soggy ones, seven. Oh, well I landed something. It's gotta be close to like 10 big spin front boards by now. Any of you guys been keeping count? Write it in the comments for me. Oh man, I'm so done. Like physically, I mean. I still want this. Damn it. How many is that? Keep going to swear so badly. PG zone. <laughs> I knew, I didn't know, but I had a feeling I was going too slow. I was too lazy to stop. I was already committed to that one. Hey, that's two in a row though. Two big spin front boards in a row. Or did I do that before too? I don't think so. Oh, that sun is intense. Oh, yeah, that was a weird one. Giving myself like final tries. I am dusted. I seen local Joe did his key flip front 50 video, but he did it in like two days. Like day one, day two, I really don't want to do it like that. Nothing against that style, but like, I want to get this done today. Like I want to do the trick today. What? I guess I did. I just know if I don't get a clean one, I'll be thinking about this forever. Like I'll just be like, oh, got to come back, got to come back, got to get that trick. But look at the process it took me to get here. Don't have to go through all that again. Which is why I'm going to do everything in my power to land it this try right here for that magpie. No! Let the magpie down. <laughs> that was promising though. I overshoved it. Like I was too aggressive on that one. Big spin front board, shove it out for breakfast. Damn it, I got into that weird. How'd I even land that? I'm gonna have five more attempts. I'm not giving up. Five more attempts. Five more attempts of getting into the rail, like onto the rail. If I don't land it by then, I need to make sure my camera doesn't need to be recharged. 60 second break. I just feel like I'm doing useless attempts because I'm so fried. Just need like a little bit of a break. If I can just land it here. Save all my troubles. All right, five more tries and a little break. Okay, 10 minutes. Legitness. I knew I couldn't stop. That little kid. That was legitness. Yeah. As soon as I said legitness. I was trying so hard not to laugh. Have I even had my five attempts? I haven't even. That first one didn't count. I didn't get into it. I think I'm done, eh? I hate to admit it. I bend down, get ready to pop, and I just got nothing in my legs. I feel like I'm just stuck down there. Might have to take the first one, but I shouldn't be upset about it. I've stomped it so many times after too. Please get up there. I think that's it. Yes. <laughs> I celebrated before I even rolled away. Yes. If only that was the trick. That did feel good. That's two though. I said every every attempt that I get into it counts. Three more tries. Or should I get a bonus because I landed one? True. Every time I land a big spin front board, I'll get a bonus try. Four more tries. No, I can't like stand up on it. Down to three. No, see I'm not even getting onto it right. Two more, two more legit 
attempts. I can't stand up on it. What the hell? One more try left, but come on. What? I'm in, not in control when I'm up there. Oh, sheesh. All right. So I need to lean forward, obviously, over my front shoulder more because I just keep slipping back. Oh, that was like really good. I don't know if I was like trying to land that or not, but I was more just focusing on getting into it. Okay, so I can get up onto it, lean over my front shoulder. That will also allow me to stay straighter. So if I do that big spin I just did, shoulder forward, land in the front board. All I have to do is scoop, little scoop. What a struggle. I think I've already decided that level one is the whole challenge. I can't big spin front board consistently enough. Do it to 270 out, to big spin out, or the other one. If it's this hard for me just to shove it out, man, I can't imagine the battle it would be for the rest. Nope. Oh, yeah. See, I'm still like so much on this side of the rail. I need to be on top of it. Or not. How sick of you guys? How sick are you guys of hearing me repeat myself and complain? I'm sick of myself complaining. That was weird. But it's the land. I've definitely uh, set a new record for how many big spin front boards I've done in one sesh. Man, almost two and a half hours trying this. Well, technically from when I started my first big spin front board attempts, not to shove it out. Oh, that was, I thought I was gonna go front table on that one. I could so just land it right now. And I did. But, that's not the full trick. What the F and F? If I count as big spin front board fakey. If anything, I've landed a new trick. Big spin front board shove. I would love to clean that, but it's definitely acceptable. Second of all, I've landed, I would love to say 10, but I just don't know. I can't remember them all. Big spin front boards. That's obviously not the trick I want. I need to shove it out, but that definitely does something for your confidence and motivation once, like just say, next time I skate, I'm gonna be more comfortable at that trick because I've been practicing it so much today. And I've got like around 10 or so, however many I've done today. I've got that many done today. So that kind of like gets your stat points up in a way, I guess, for like the ongoing sessions. Cause that's a trick I'd really love to do like on a street spot somewhere. I don't know where. Definitely not capable of doing it down a rail. An out rail off a drop maybe, or it'd be kind of weak doing it just on a flat bar in the streets. It needs to be like a significant obstacle. I think that's three in a row. Not clean. Oof. I mean, I'm still going. Probably running out of energy easier too because I haven't eaten anything. I want to sit down and rest so bad. Need to earn it. Come on. Let's do it. <laughs> These sounds are so weird. Don't know what to do. Don't know what to say. I know what to do. I know what to do. But I don't know how to do. That's skateboarding, isn't it? We know what we're supposed to do. Sometimes we just don't know how to do those things. How to do the do, do the do. Remember that? Do the Jew or something? Mountain Dew ads. People still skate for Mountain Dew. p used to skate for Mountain Dew and Target. That's so whack. Or is it? I don't know. Gotta pay the bills, right? I tried so hard to get up on there. I'm gonna have to cap it again. I just have to call five tries. I'm trying so hard now. All right, I'm calling it. Five more tries. Five more proper tries. What am I doing? <laughs> hey.
Hey. Hey. Hey. That's a land. Wait, let me see what that's filming. That's 100% a land. I think it was sketchier than the first one I did, but I didn't like jolt as hard. And I didn't, yes, it's still going. I didn't, um, what's the word? Hill, hill drag or wheel bite. I just landed stiff as and went that way. <laughs> but hey, that is the trick. And I still got three more tries. Now nah, I go bonus, four. That earned a bonus. But now I'm more happy that if I don't get the clean one I'm after, I got two, two kind of like decent ones. Two wrongs make a right, don't they? Two sloppies make a clean. Two sketchies make a clean. All right, I'm much more happy to land two with four more tries to go. Okay, I'm going again. Every time I land, it's a redo. See, now I can walk away. Not so upset if these next four tries don't work out. Even though they weren't the clean one I was looking for, I'm much more happy to land two of these. Okay, four more. Damn, that was a weird one. Once again, four more. I'd love to know how many big spin front boards I've landed today. Damn, just keep landing like that. Like on the rail, wrong. That does earn a, another bonus go though. So technically, my last three tries have been the best of the day. I landed the big spin front board, shove it out. Landed the big spin front board out normal. Then just landed another big spin front board out normal. That's like my best like streak of the day. If there was any a time, my special bar would be up. If there was ever a time in the day, it would be right now. With four attempts left, it would be so good to land a clean one right now and have three to spare. Oh Jesus, I almost whipped a hurricane. Okay, man, I'm dead. Three more. I don't want to land another big spin front board to normal. That would give myself another, like that's a lot of energy just to do that. Then because of the bonus try, I'll have to try it again. But I'm not just gonna bail him for no reason, like on purpose. All right, three tries, three more. If not, I've already landed two. That breeze feels so good. I got distracted. Oh, okay. Okay, man, I'm so beat. I'm not mad though. Big spin front board shove, twice. So hyped. Two more. Would have been good to get the, the clean one. Actually, I've got two more tries. Can't say that yet. Anything's possible. Jesus Christ, that was so whack. I almost bit my tongue then. Oh, so dead. See if you've noticed, I'm not scared to get into the big spin front boards anymore. Once they get going, they're just sweet. As in like, not scary. I can try them over and over. But it just takes so long for me to start committing. I can't imagine trying to big spin front board even down that little yellow rail there. How many times would I be rolling at that and not doing anything? It's freaking out the whole time. Oh! That was like the first fall I did. The first front board shove it out fall I did. Almost identical. I need to play those side by side. They felt identical anyway. It took so much effort though. Oh my God, I'm so dead. One more try. I don't even care, like I can walk away happy. Doesn't mean I'm not gonna try my hardest on this last attempt. No matter what happens, this has to be my last try. I'm so dead, just try as hard as we can though. No! Oh! I'm so done. I'm so done. So hot. I need to sit in the shade. 
It's so hot out there, I just had to run into the car, pump the aircon, but that last try was unbelievably good timing. I would have liked to land at that last try, but I went over to my phone to stop it when I went into the shade and it literally turned off in front of me. Like it died just when I went over there. So that try was the last try no matter what. So it's a shame I didn't get it, but I'm super hyped. I landed that trick twice, pretty sketchy, but big spin front board, shove it out. I did it, I accomplished the goal. I'm not gonna bother with the rest of this series doing like the big spin out, the 270 out, the rest of it. Like that was way too hard today. If I do this again, it'll be for like a completely different trick. So let me know if you guys enjoyed this type of video, if it's too much, if it's too long, if I'm just rambling and talking too much, let me know what you think about this and I'll try and do some more because there's lots of more tricks I want to learn or even skating new spots or skate parks and doing this kind of format. But yeah, I enjoyed this today. Hope you guys did, but let me know if you did or you didn't. I had a fun session, even though it was hot, I'm happy to learn a new trick, do the most amount of big spin front boards I've done ever, get some exercise out here, and I'm really enjoying skating the 9.75 board. So if you do want to check out the video where I first set that up and I had my birthday skate, check this video out right here. Definitely let me know what you think about this format in the comments below, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.